name is Chris Goss, co-owner of Hospital Records, and this week's podcast is going to be all about hospital art, as this week we launch our two-week exhibition at the Art Vinyl Gallery, which is celebrating 10 years of our sleeve design. Often people still say to us, like, aren't you a bit disappointed or embarrassed that you called yourself hospital? Um, clearly I think it's a slice of genius. Um, one of one of the many reasons we liked the idea of calling our label hospital was that we, we could, Tony and I could already see all the kind of visual tie-ins, all the sort of visual puns, um, even just like coming down to the actual logo, as soon as we came up with the name hospital, we knew exactly what it was going to be. It's the international sign for hospital, which is just an H. Um, as a result, all the early sleeves were basically packaged like this. So we, we moved on. We, uh, made the daring move to uh, get a little bit more visually involved and in the early days of the hospital we, we started two compilation series, one of which plastic surgery, one of the base compilation series, the, uh, the other one was outpatients. The next one in plastic surgery three, um, a great photo from Greg Garnis, just some plan that we found in Japan, um, obviously like a lot of orders. And plastic surgery four, Celebrating Tony's long departed Mercedes, which a lot of people thought was actually photoshopped, but my wife Sally, who's a jeweler, actually made it. We bought, we bought the badge. And look, it's real. This is a uh, personal favourite. Didn't actually sell very well, unfortunately, but never mind. <laughs> um, a non-giant base album from Futuristics, and just one of those times when I knew, I knew the feel I wanted. It, it just had to be one of those. Had to give off that early 70s kind of rare groove feel, and again, I'm indebted to my wife who made a nice um, signet ring, which we just managed to squeeze into the uh, squeeze into the cover. Obviously, one of our most uh, well-known artists, Lincoln Barra, High Contrast, debut album True Colours, which was uh, again another quality little photo from from Gree, actually shot cargo. Uh, and what I, what I guess is nice is that when we actually went to the new second album, it was just like a little update with him having grown his hair massively and looking a bit more swirl and that kind of Bob Dylan strokes pose on top of purple. Uh, one of my favourites, um, obviously it was a bit of a gift to find ourselves releasing a track called General Hospital. Um, and it just seemed to be begging for a, a bit of an ambulance treatment, shall we say. So that uh, even though people did say to me, Look what you've done, it's back to front. Oh, I'm gutted. That's what it's meant to be. First release released by Quiff from Hospital. A uh, photo by Andrew Atta. Um, just for once, thought, yeah, we can actually afford to like, let's get some stickers made up. Classic name for an EP, Hello, My Name Is. Uh, handwritten by Quiff himself when he was drunk at Herbal One Night, which we then scanned in. We also, he also did the, um, the track title, it was a bit messy. And also, uh, if you look close enough next to uh, Vernon Kay and Peter, you'll find uh, Dougie from Cracks and Parallel Force. Um, having done three volumes of plastic surgery, we felt the need to switch up our compilation series and hence brought in weapons of mass creation. Um, as you can see at the time, I just thought that the, and I remember like Tony actually thought it was an awful idea, but I just felt it had to be a bit of a full metal jacket vibe, and so we did. As you can see, modelled by the lovely trick out here, we did actually buy a helmet from Lawrence Corner, and then just um, it's it's nice and simple visual gags, but the stereo jacks, the badge, it's born to heal, not born to kill. That's what's good. Um, so having like done the sleep design for the label for nine years or so, and with the label becoming even more prolific. It was always going to be inevitable that I would need some help. Fortunately, young Ricky here, as a full time designer and fan of the label, was happy to kind of get involved. So I think the first thing that he got his teeth stuck into was Hanging Rock. Hanging Rock. So, uh, Hanging Rock was the first bit that I did. It was a lead up single, I think, to Power Ballads. The cover is actually the cranes that are in front of Batsy. You can see on the cover, sort of there and there. We went for a bit of an orange feel. It's a reference to an artist that designs skateboards, I think, called Evan Heacox. 
that's the first thing that did. I'm really pleased with that at the end. After that, I moved on to the Scientific Salvum Project, which was sort of directed by Chris to be like Transformers, so we got the lead up single that's the sort of Decepticons and the other side's Autobots. <laughs> which comes to the album, which was a, a bit of a nightmare to say the least. <laughs> but uh, we got there in the end, apart from some arguments about the knees of the robot. It was just beyond me. But I kept quiet. <laughs> That moved on to logistics is out, which is now more than ever. It's the album cover Matt, who's actually wearing my brother's glasses, which we dotted the H into. But you can see in his glasses the sign is reflected, which is actually something that I made. It's out of 750 LED lights, and ended up getting a couple of blisters on my fingers soldering. So with the um, with the now more than ever. It's interesting how that, how that came about. That was, I, I started that with a found typeface from a, a 70s book of typography that I particularly liked. Sent it to Ricky as like saying, well, this, is, this is the first idea I've kind of got. Uh, in a typical fashion, he went, hmm, well, I like that, but it could look like this. And kind of just did his own kind of like flat LED version with lots of round circles. And then we both looked at that and said, well, wouldn't it be great if it was an LED sign? So, being the resourceful young man, he then went away and made it. And having made it, we then we arranged the photo shoot with Boris and uh, with Matt, and took it to uh, took it to Brixton, and it worked an absolute treat. So it's, it's uh, sometimes I don't know. I think that's probably like when something works particularly well, when you actually start from something that's just like the initial kind of flat idea, and before you know it, you've actually got a fully working LED sign. So there you have it, that's a little insight into the hospital art ethos and um, if you can make it down then please come to the Art Vinyl Gallery which is in Broadway Market in Hackney. The exhibition starts on the 5th of October, it's up for two weeks from the 5th to the 19th. So you can check out artvinyl.com as well as of course our own website hospitalrecords.com. So uh, my name is Chris Goss, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed that and uh, keep watching the Hospital Podcast.